Hello everyone, my name is Vikal Jain and in this video we are going to learn the basics of M code, how we can write the M code, what is the procedure to write the M code, this we are going to learn. Now, so whenever we are talking about Power Query, we need to learn three things. First is list, table, records. So generally people get confused in these three things. So we are going to talk about list in two sessions and after that we are going to deal with the records then with the tables then we will move on to little little basic things then we will uh, combine data and get the desired results so how we can start with the power query here is the blank workbook and what you need to do just go to data tab get data and here we have launch power query editor so this will launch a blank power query editor now you can see power query editor has launched now i need to start with the new blank query so that i can explain you what is list in power query so let me just enter a new power query here it is new source and from the other source i am taking blank query now I am directly going to advanced editor to explain you what is the M code, how we can write the M code. So I am clicking on this advanced editor on the home tab. And you can see it is uh, starting from let function and it is uh, ending to source. Now you can see here uh, this one is equivalent to this one. So I, I will tell you how we can write these these things. So I'm going to start with the list. Whenever we are talking about list, so list is as same as your range in Excel. So it can contain a numbers. It can contain alphabets, symbols, nulls, or logical, it means true and false. Whenever we are talking about nulls, it means blanks in Excel. So now I'm going to talk about a uh, list. So let me just type my first list how we can enter the list whenever we are talking about list so we need to enter a list in curly bracket only you can see here i am entering curly bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 i have entered 6 number over here whenever you will see a curly bracket on the data it means you are talking about a list so just click ok done and you will see here is first list is appearing so that's how I can enter my list now if I am going to talk about advanced editor once again view so here are multiple ways to enter a list here are multiple ways to deal with the list so now this time I'm not manually enter the this list instead I'm taking the second list let me just enter second list so what I'm going to do if, if you are entering a second line of code you need to put the comma in the end of the first line now I'm putting comma and press enter sorry it is a single code comma enter now I need to write a, let's say second example so this is equal to Again, I'm using curly bracket. List is always uh, containing in your curly bracket. So this time I'm taking one dot dot twenty. Now what does what does dot dot show is over here. Dot dot means uh, from one to twenty. It means it will enter a list of twenty numbers. So now this time I need to remove this uh, second ex example and paste it over here. Otherwise, it will show the first instance so click done and this time you can see the list is appearing like this so now what are the other ways to enter a list here i have uh, making a short note on, on the list so here is the first example and here is the second example now we can even enter a nested list in a uh, power query how we can enter a nested list so let me just go to advanced editor once again This time I'm taking the comma once again and now I'm saying it as nested list. So now I'm entering my first list. List always contain in your curly bracket. 
so this time i'm starting one curly vertical once again one comma two so here is my first list comma now three comma four comma and the last one is five comma six so this time it will not show one two three four five six so let me show you what it is going to show us just copy this nested list and paste it over here and click done you will see here are multiple list is appearing one and two three and four and five and six so it is going to show us multiple list now we can enter a records in list so i'm going to talk about records in next session uh, so how we can enter a records in a list simply we need to put comma at the end now i'm going to talk about record in the list so i'm simply saying it as record in list now i'm again starting my list as curly bracket list always start from curly bracket and from curly bracket now whenever we are talking about records it always contain in square bracket so i'm talking about let's say my name is vehicle comma and my roll number is 3 the rule is simple you need to enter your text in double quotes you need to enter number it directly the rule is as same as in your excel now i am putting my second record putting comma copying this paste it over here now this time i am not taking my name let's say i am taking abilasha and roll number is 4 now we need to close our list curly bracket here now record in the list i am taking this one paste it over here record in the list and done you will see this time it is showing us records so record always uh, going to show us like this and here it is now again i am going to advanced editor so mistakenly i have clicked on it so i need to remove this and if i will click done and this is this was the example which we, which we were dealing with sorry i forgot to remove this comma done and here it is now this is the basics of list how we can enter a list how we can enter records in a list so how we can generate a sequence of list even we can generate from a to z now i am going to try some lookups in list so let me just open my advanced editor once again So now I am going to start with the lookup example. I need to simply enter. Let's say I am putting remarks over here, so I can put two slashes, and I am starting with lookups. Now I was talking about four type of list. Here is the first one. Here is the second one. Here is the third one, and here is the fourth one. Now I am talking about my first list. Let's say lookup one is the first example. Lookup. one i'm talking about lookup one so what i can do i can uh, find a value from the list how simply i am copying this list let's say i want to find the third value so whenever i'm talking about third value it means 1 2 and 3 i'm going to find out this 3 from the list and how we can find that simply uh, in power query we generally start from the zero so we need to start from zero 1 and 2 for the third value so we need to enter two number so if you are finding the if you are finding anything from the list you need to again put that thing in your curly brackets let's say i am putting two number for the third value and this time i am not taking a record in the list and look up i am copying here copy paste now i need to put comma and you will see no syntax error has detected now done and see 
three is coming over here by using this lookup. Now let's talk about uh, one more example. In the lookup, so similarly we can deal with the second example. We can simply put that thing in curly bracket. Now I'm talking about I'm going to talk about the third list that is nested list. How we can find out the value in nested list? So I'm going to copy this. Now if you will carefully see here we have three list one two and three now what i'm going to do i'm going to find out let's say this uh, five so what does it mean it is the third list one two and three and it is the first value in the third list so what i need to enter i need to enter two curly brackets since we have three lists i need to enter uh, two curly brackets first is for a location of that list so my uh, location for that list is one two and three it means i need to enter two because I, a list is always starting from zero now i need to put uh, for the first value i need to put the zero for five simply one two and three for uh, third list i'm putting two and for the first value i'm putting zero and this time i'm taking lookup two and putting comma over here and done you will see it is going to show us number five now if i'm talking about advanced editor once again now i'm going to find out the record how we can do that just i'm going to click on view and going to advanced editor now this time i'm not finding anything in the list i'm this time I'm, I'm finding record from the list now how we can do that so i'm let's say i'm talking about lookup number three so here we have entered some records now you will see here we have list copy i'm going to copy over here comma remove this comma and make it number three now i need to find out let's say this uh name abilasha so here is that thing is in the second list so i am putting number one you will see it will uh, show us second record i am again entering that thing in curly bracket done you will see the, that record is coming up abilasha and four now if you only want to see the name so what we can do now we are searching anything in record so we need to enter that thing in square bracket so whenever you are searching in the list you need to enter those thing in curly bracket and you are searching in records you need to enter those thing in square bracket now this will show us only the name that is abilasha and you will see abilasha is coming over here now here we are going to talk about some functions in the list that is list combine list zip list insert and list distinct now i'm going to talk about list combine first here we have view advanced editor now i'm going to talk about some list function so again i'm entering remark list functions so first list function is list combine now I am going to combine this three list. You will see here we have three list one, two, and three. Let me just enter that thing in once again. So let's say list combine. I am talking about. I am saying it as LC. Now pasting this like this. Now removing this comma, pasting comma over here, and again say it as LC done you will see here is the first list second and third now wh what list combine do does as the name is clear list combine it means it combine the multiple list so it can combine all the list into one how we can do that simply just go to view tab advanced editor 
so what you need to do you need to simple write list like excel we are using uh, these formulas list combined now open the parentheses now you will see it has no second argument you need to simply put the close the parentheses at the end list combine so it is going to combine all the list and if i will put the cursor on it you will see here is the uh, formula reference list combine list as a list now done and you will see all list has combined so this is the list combine function now i'm going to talk about second function that is list dot zip so list dot zip now what it does so basically whenever we are talking about list dot zip let's say i'm taking this example once again so this time i'm saying it as lz for list zip now i am saying lz putting comma at the end now done here is one three list once again one two three four and five six now what list zip does so whenever we are talking about list zip so it zip the list like whenever uh, let's say one comma so what it, it, it will do here we have a uh, three list one two three four five six so what it will uh, do so it will uh, do it will combine list like uh, one three and five in the in the first list and true four and six in the second list so it will make a two list from the three list so now let me show you how it is going to uh, work list dot zip so it will make two list from the three list list dot zip and here it is and done now this time we have two list and see one two three four five six that is the that is the first example now if i'm talking about one three five one three and five and if i'm talking about this one two four and six so here's the list dot zip now this time i'm going to talk about list dot insert so let's put comma and i'm again putting list dot insert or i'm making this lz to li and writing li equal to now i am taking the example of first list paste it over here now what i want i want to insert some values in this list let's say i want to make 1 2 2.1 2.2 .2, 3 Four, five, six. So I want to insert two point one and two point two after this two. So this uh, can be done by using list dot insert. So that is not list dot insert. That is list dot insert range list dot insert. And here it is. Now open the parentheses. Now comma. It is asking where do you want to insert your list on the second position. So I'm putting second number. Now, what do you want to enter? Let's say I want to enter 2.1 comma 2.2 and close the parentheses and you will see list dot insert range. Now this time my list will become 1, 2, 2.1, 2.2, 3, 4, 5, 6, done. And here it is. You can see list dot insert range. Now, if I'm going to talk about my last example that is list dot distinct i will uh, cover some more example in uh, list function in uh, my next just just next video so let's say i'm talking about list dot distinct pardon for my uh, spelling mistake so i i'm saying it as ld so now this time I am saying LD and let's say I am entering a list that is 1 comma 2 comma 2 comma 3 comma 1 comma 4 comma 5 
comma six. So I have some values which is which are repeating now done. You will see one, two, two, three, one, four, four, five, four, five, six. So what I need to do, I need to find out the unique values. So how we can do that? Simply go to advanced editor. And here we have list dot distinct. And simply we can put the list distinct and done. Now you will see we have unique values are appearing. So this is the first part of our list function. We will going to talk about our second part in next video. So keep enjoying, keep learning. See you in next video.